I'm Yusuf Estes for Voice of Islam with Tidbits. And the tidbit for today, I want to talk about something that's called Salah. Sometimes called Salat, with a T at the end of it. Sometimes referred to as Namaz. And it's all tied together to something that we usually generally refer to in English as prayer. But actually, this word Salah is bigger than the word prayer, and it has a deeper meaning. Because Muslims have three things that they do, actually. And there is a prayer that we keep inside of us all the time, our remembrance of Almighty God. As the Bible tells us in the New Testament, pray unceasingly. Well, this is what the Muslims are doing because they are doing what's called dhikr. And dhikr is to remember Allah inside of you at all times. This is dhikr. And we do that. But that's not salah. Then we have something else we do when we go like this and we say, Oh God, help me with this and solve this problem that I have over here. I want to fix something. Okay, well, this is also prayer in English, but in Arabic it has another name, Dua. Dua, to call upon Almighty God. It's a calling. So what is Salah? In Salah you see Muslims, they stand like this and they bow over, you know, and you see them put their head on the ground. Is that the Salah? Yeah, but what does it mean actually? Well, it means respect, it means to give dignity, and it means more than anything connection. Because salah or sal is connect, to make connection. A connection between you and the Almighty. And you can get that connection anytime you want. It's real simple. All you do is just become a Muslim, do your shahada, and then go into this state like this throw the hands back and then over yourself in the front like this and then you're talking to your Lord it's a direct connect yep that's Salah why is it sometimes having a T at the end that's if you continue it because in Arabic there's something called the silent T if you stop you don't pronounce it it sounds kind of like an H at the end Salah a little at the end of it but if you continue Salah t, because you'll connect it to the next word if you said for instance a Salah to Khairum Minan Naum the Salah is better than what comes from the sleep the Salah is better than what comes from the sleep a Salah to Khairum Minan Naum you see how it connects and you heard the T on it then so that's why it has that now you understood a little bit more about what is Salah. And when you want to make a direct connect with your Lord, learn something about Salah. <sighs> and that's Tidbits. I'm Yusuf Estes, and you're watching Voice of Islam.